breeze here today. However, it's swirling on the field and shouldn't have any big effect on this ball game unless the wind picks up. Van Tippen's kickoff is going to carry Finesca back to the back of the end zone. And out of the end zone it goes, and the Volunteers will set up their offense on the 20-yard line. They're going to give to the freshman. About eight yards for Keith Davis. A freshman from Nashville. Robinson plan to take advantage of that. Second down to Tennessee. First down, Tennessee, William Howard, the 225-pound fullback, number 35, with the first down for the Volunteers. It's complete to Clink Scales. He's close to the first down. Tackled by 21, Freddie Robinson. First down, 10. Tennessee at the 47-yard line of the Volunteers. Opening drive for Tennessee. Opening quarter of play from Regent Field in Birmingham. Robinson goes down. Number 79, Brent Soule. Broke through and got him right up the middle. Third down, 22 from the 35-yard line. Robinson, four-man rush. Robinson in a lot of trouble. Down he goes at the 27-yard line. And listen to this Legion Field crowd. Here's Bob Garman, who had trouble punting last week, only averaging 38 yards. He's punting to Albert Bell, number one, at his 31. Bell to the 38-yard line. Good field position for Alabama. Dead ball foul. Face mask. Defensive team. First down. Third down, six Alabama at the 42 of Tennessee. Scoreless game, first quarter. Schuler try his second pass of the day. Incomplete, looking for Humphrey. Thrown high, would have been a tough catch, covered by number seven, Chris White. Third down three, Tennessee, out of the eye. Three wide receivers in the game. It's to Davis, needs the block and gets it. First down. To the 40-yard line goes the freshman, Randy Rockwell, number 57, with the stop for Alabama. And uh, they do a fine job with it. Charles Wilson also got a good block in the play. It was a 13-yard run by Davis. Robinson's going upstairs, looking for McGee. Picked off the first interception of the year for this Alabama secondary. Down at the eight and a half yard line, 21, Freddie Robinson with the ball. Third down five from the 14 yard line in motion out of the backfield, Bobby Humphrey. Schulich, the shovel pass, the turn of the fullback. Shy of, well, excuse me, he got the first down. He's shy of the 20, but he got enough for the first down. Seven ties in this series. Some the, the average score in the last four years has been 32-31. First down run by Humphrey. He was tackled by 16 Tommy Sims. They started this drive after the interception at the eight and a half. Out of the eye, Shula the throw. Wide open Greg Richardson. Down at the 45 of Alabama. Third down three from the 48-yard line of Tennessee. 3.09 to go, quarter number one. Scoreless ball game. Albert Bell in motion. And contact at the line of scrimmage. That was 95. Fred Bennett with the contact. Shula with an audible at the line. Tennessee blitzing. Shula throwing. Incomplete. And the Alabama drive stalls. Tennessee ball. They hand it to freshman Keith Davis again. Good cut. First down to the 33-yard line. And this freshman Keith Davis is a workhorse. Third and seven from the 36. Alabama with a rush right up the middle. Screen to the left side to Wilson. To the 45-yard line. He's close enough for a Tennessee first down. He was hit. Third down eight from the 47, Tennessee. Good protection for Robinson. Dumps it to Keith Davis. Look at his speed for the freshman. Out of bounds at the 28-yard line of Alabama. Ricky Thomas chasing Davis out of bounds. <laughs> Here's Charles Wilson. Inside the 20 to the 19-yard line goes the sophomore, 32, Charles Wilson. Johnny Majors has elected to go for it on fourth down. Did he get it? Robinson says yes. Tennessee fans say yes. Alabama fans say no. His ankle's about the size of a lot of people's wrists. Here it comes. First down by the nose of the ball. We saw four or five fourth down gambles in our FSU Auburn telecast last week, and now we've seen one early in the second quarter here that paid off for Johnny Majors. First and ten from the 18. Here's Keith Davis. 
What an excellent job of running the ball for the young freshman. Looking for Clint Scales. He was hit in the end zone. Clint Scales was hit by the defensive back. 34, Ricky Thomas, and penalty markers went down. Davis in motion. Here's the pitch to Wilson. Touchdown, Volunteers. for Craig Turner in running back for Alabama now. There's Murray Hill, the freshman. To the 31-yard line. Murray Hill from Atmore, Alabama. Only 5'8". He's a water bug type runner. Tackled by 16, Tommy Sims. Murray Hill looks like he didn't know exactly where to go there. Let's see if he does now. He knows where to go this time. To the 42-yard line, the freshman. Kelly Ziegler, number 49, with a tackle. He ruins my image. Let's see if he's smiling. He was happy with that win over Vanderbilt, too. First down, Alabama, they give to Craig Turner, 44 to fullback. Third down, 10. The tide drive is stalled momentarily at the 45-yard line of Tennessee. Shula needs 10 here. He's going for a lot more. He has Richardson wide open at the 10. To the one-foot line, Greg Richardson. Eight minutes to go. Second quarter, Tennessee leads 7-0. Alabama, fullback, Turner, touchdown. Johnny Jones scored the winning touchdown for Tennessee on a come from behind in Knoxville last year. Tennessee on a three-game winning streak. Tied 7-7 here on the first down. Robinson throws as he's hit. That's Clink Scales. He may be gone out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Ricky Thomas dragged him out of bounds. Clink Scales couldn't get it into high gear. First down 10, Tennessee at the 45-yard line of Alabama. Here's Keith Davis picking his way. Excellent run by the freshman, Ricky Thomas, with the tackle. Robinson looks right, throws left, incomplete. He was trying to find Wesley Pryor, number 23, Carlos Reves, for a 47-yard field goal attempt. We're going to give Britt Cooper a credit for doing a good job of coverage on that last play, forcing this field goal. Plenty of leg on that one. It's wide to the left side. The game remains tied. This is that pro set formation. Split backs, wide receivers out wide to the left and right side. And one tight end. Shula has a man wide open. Whitehurst, nice grab. First down. Alabama out here to good field position now to their own 48. And Shula's going to wing it again. It's picked off. Number 22 with the ball is Charlie Davis. At the 39 yard line. Here's Keith Davis. Played his blocks well. And he drives near the 40 yard line of Alabama, tackled by 95 Kurt Jarvis. First and 10, Tennessee at the 41 yard line of Alabama. We're tied at seven. Second quarter, Robinson in trouble. Screens it right side to Charles Wilson, who gets the first down. To the 29-yard line. Actually, that was not a screen, but he, um, let's call it a safety valve to Charles Wilson on the right side. Four-man rush. They hand off on the draw. This is Keith Davis. Close to the first down, but he doesn't get there. Unless he fell forward for enough, I don't believe he did. He has to get to the 19-yard line. This will be, they're going to spot it at 28, a 38-yard field goal attempt. Reves is perfect at that distance so far this year. He missed a 47-yarder earlier today. Hit this one well. And Reves gets this one on the board. So Tennessee takes the lead. 10-7. Lower left-hand corner of your screen. You see the time remaining in the first half. Down near a minute. Out for the first down goes the Crimson Tide. Third and two from the 43. Let's see what Mike the Mind does here. Very intelligently gives it to his excellent running back Bobby Humphrey, who gets the first down. That second down five from the 48. And they're not. And Shula has plenty of time. And he's going all the way to the end zone for Humphrey. Nothing there incomplete. 
And the clock goes down to double zeros. No penalty markers down. But the first half comes to a close with Tennessee leading Alabama. 10-7 from Legion Field in Birmingham. A lot of halftime activities coming your way. Stay with us. This is third down 10 Alabama at the 33-yard line. A little bit of confusion on this particular series. Now here goes Hill out of the backfield again, much like last time. <laughs> Maybe they just tried it again. Shula in trouble. Well, about three yards, but he was chased out of the pocket and tackled by Richard Cooper, the sophomore from Memphis, number 77. Third and six, Tennessee, from the 14th. Robinson, plenty of time, but this is what he does so well. First down, Tennessee. Talk with us on a telephone. Second down eight from the 23. Robinson, a lot of time, screens right side to Davis. He gets the first down. Once again, I said screen. It really wasn't a screen. Davis with just a safety valve over there. Second down eight from the 35. Here's Tony Robinson. Gets a good block. Gets the first down. Out across the 45 to the 46. Out of the eye. Play fake. Robinson. Nice play to Charles Wilson. First down, Tennessee. Wrestled out of bounds on the far side by 56, Greg Gilbert. I always just tried to look poor and hungry and hope somebody would just invite <laughs> me in. <laughs> they never did. I guess it's because I didn't look hungry enough. Second down and inches at the 45. Robinson pump fakes and goes for everything. Looking for McGee. Touchdown! What a catch by Tim McGee. There is a penalty marker on the play. Thomas there to help out. He makes the catch. I thought never, he had it. Never maintained. I don't think he maintained What's control the of the ball long enough for it What's to count. But you know, I've got a defense. defensive attitude. Defensive bias. We'll call it 11 yards. Robinson gets out of trouble and gets slammed to the ground by Cornelius Bennett. Bennett and Robinson have a real duel on, as you can see. I think Robinson's all right. defense been showing the muscle the last few plays against Tennessee. Dickey's going to throw. Almost throws an interception. Ricky Thomas just dropped it. Oh my. Talk about dodging a bullet. This will be a 47 or 48 yard field goal if it's successful. Plenty of distance. It is good. Tennessee, 13, Alabama, 7. 13-7, 6.57 to go, third quarter. Legion Field, Birmingham. Here comes Humphrey. Cuts against the grain. To the 30-yard line and a little bit more. He was hit hard by 14, Terry Brown. Back to Atlanta for this college football update. Fumble, and it's loose at the 33-yard line. They say it remains in the possession of Alabama. Second down, 12. Shovel pass to Craig Turner. Boy, Tennessee's defense has really played well. It looked like it came loose, too. Right at the line of scrimmage at the 36-yard line. Tennessee is really popping. Third down, 5 at the 32. To Panuska. Panuska out near the 40-yard line. Tennessee first down. Todd Roper with the tackle. Second down, 10. Tennessee at the 39-yard line of the Volunteers. Tennessee leads 13-7. Robinson again going to the air. Again on the run. Near midfield, he did not step out of bounds. Third down, 10. At the midfield strike. This game is really at a critical point right here. With Tennessee leading 13-7. Pump fake left. He goes right to Davis. Needs a block. Gets it at the 50. Needs a cut. Close to the first down. Let's see where they spot it. I think they'll say he's about a yard shy. Freddie Robinson with a tackle. Tony's back on the phone to the offensive coordinator upstairs talking about a way to solve this Alabama defense. Well, Alabama is running Bumble Humphrey. Bumble. Humphrey and the ball is loose again. And Tennessee is recovered. Alabama came into this game with three turnovers all year. And they've turned it over twice in this game. Robinson, play fakes, has the ball, gets protection. Down he goes, hit hard at the 12. Cornelius Bennett and Kurt Jarvis combining. And Robinson appeared to be shaken up on that play. He's checking the, the variation. 
combination and the flexibilities between the medial collateral ligament and uh, on both knees. This will be a 28-yard field goal attempt on fourth down. It is good. Tennessee increases their lead over Alabama to 16 to 7 with 13:44 to go in the game. You just hate to see that happen. It's got to be a painful thing to watch. Now Alabama trailing 16 to 7 has 13 and a half minutes to see if they can come from behind. Tennessee on a three-game winning streak. Mike Shula complete to the 50-yard line to tight end Thornton Chandler. First down, Alabama. On a first down 10. I was going to say, uh, sometimes an injury even to an offensive player if he's a leader like Robinson can here. slow down the defense. Let's see if it happens. The Turner to the 43-yard line. Second down three from the 42. Bell in motion. Bobby Humphrey driving for the first down for Alabama. Kelly Ziegler with the tackle. Now Chester Braggs in a tailback for Alabama along with Craig Turner. Braggs is number 30. Shula going for Chandler. Leaping grab at the 19-yard line to the big 6'6 tight end. Brown with a tackle. 11.39 to go. Tennessee 16, Alabama 7. Tied ball. First and 10 at the 19 of the Volunteers. Bell in motion. Shula, not much pressure. Bobby Humphrey. Darrell Dickey He's got the weight on his shoulder. Second down eight from the 22, Tennessee. The pitch to Keith Davis. Look at the speed. First down. 20 yards. 28, 29 yards for Keith Davis around the left end. Cooper and Robinson chasing him out of bounds. Howard, the fullback. Play fake. Here's a reverse to McGee. Needs a block. Gets it, but no yardage and penalty markers go down. That just didn't happen. Tennessee's leading receiver, they decide to just go ahead and pitch it to him on a reverse. Tennessee clips on the play. Second down five, Alabama. Here's that shovel pass to Craig Turner. First down and more to the 43. Humphrey and Turner in the back field. Shield with only a four-man rush. Over the middle to Humphrey. For the 37 of Tennessee. I say dangerous because sometimes a tip ball, as happened earlier in the game, uh, results in an interception down the middle. First down, 10 of the 37. Still in the throw again. Whoa! It's picked off by Tennessee's Dale Jones. We told you he was the big play man. Whoa! That was one of the shortest interceptions of a pass ever, about a foot and a half. That's a classic college football matchup. 16-14, Tennessee, 6.47 to go in the ball game. Good protection for Dickey. Incomplete. Had two receivers in the exact same area. Andy playing tough, very injured against Georgia, too. First down run, Alabama, out to the 32-yard line. It was Murray Hill, the freshman from Atmore. Alabama undefeated. Kentucky, as of now, also undefeated. Florida, not eligible. First and 10 from the 31. Here comes Bell on the reverse. He has the blocks. Out of bounds. First down. At the 47-yard line, Kramer knocked him out. Again, we said Georgia should have a cakewalk at Vanderbilt. They have a three-point lead at halftime. It's back to Hill. He is denied the first down on the third down and three. Darren Miller with a tremendously big defensive play for the Volunteers. Big fourth down decision by Ray Perkins. Tennessee's coming with everybody. Incomplete after the tremendous pressure on the blitz by Tennessee. The gamble fails by the tide. Oh, listen to this crowd. It's deafening at Legion Field. Third down one at the 44, Tennessee. Davis, first down or close to it. It'll depend on where they spot it. He went down right at the flag. Third and six at the 38. Davis hit in the backfield, loss of about three. Clock at 106, 104. Alabama with uh, nine men on the line to go for this punt. They don't get it. Bad punt. Garman shanks it badly to the right. Five seconds he laps off the clock. They march it upfield here, and they will say that this ball went out of bounds at the 33-yard line. This time, Tennessee is prevent. Only three-man rush. Shula. It's caught by Bell, taken right out of the hands of the Tennessee player, but the clock runs. 11, 10, and stops there. 
Here comes Van Tippen. The line of scrimmage is the 44. Add seven to the 51, and 10 is a 61. Well, we've seen Kevin Butler hit him from that distance. In that last alignment, they're looking to see if Tennessee was out of position. Maybe they could get a couple yards. If not, they're going to make sure that this is the last play of the game. Got the distance. No, it does not have the distance. It is short by about five yards. Clock to double zero. The Volunteers have defeated Alabama at Legion Field. And that young man came up just a little bit short on the 61-yard field goal attempt. What a ball game we saw here today. But Tennessee paid dearly for this victory, losing quarterback Tony Robinson. Johnny Majors, four wins in a row over Alabama. Prior to that, Alabama had defeated Tennessee 11 times in a row. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Super Football Saturday on Turner Network Television. <laughs> 